It is often said, and the term used here is beef, not a term that I would use, between Masjid the Salafi and Green Lane Mosque is personal. Personal cave, okay, how is it personal? It's, the question has within it ignorance. It is not permissible for a Muslim to abandon another Muslim for three days, more than three days, if it was something personal. Barakallahu feekum, it is not personal. It is usul. It is manhaj. We have no magicians sitting here doing tricks for you. We have no comedians coming here, cracking jokes to you to, to, to make you laugh and clowning around and buffoons here fooling around doing dances and singing in front of you. We don't have politicians here coming, calling you to, the, to, to vote for socialists. Our da'wah is clear, distinct and separate from their da'wah. What, this is personal? Having a magician at the front doing magic tricks is personal. A man stands at the front like, like he does in their masjid and starts disrespecting Abu Bakr as-Siddiq. That's personal now. What, we're not supposed to take Abu, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq personal? That they can revile him and, they, and, and, and we just remain quiet? So what's personal then? Our aqidah and their aqidah is one. If it was one, then where are our magicians? Barakallahu feekum. Where are our magicians then? If it is one that we follow them and we are upon the same. We are not upon the same thing. We are not followers of Al-Maghrib Institute. The likes of Yasir Qadi and Greenland Mosque only recently. This year in 2015. Still promoting the lectures of the likes of Yasir Qadi and this Abu Isa Ni'matullah. Who says that the most overrated book in our times is Kitab al-Tawheed. Huh? Most overrated book in our times is Kitab al-Tawheed of Sheikh Islam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. He's a munharif dal. He's a person of bid'ah, misguidance and deviation. This is ta'an upon this great imam, imam of da'wah, mujaddid. And that which he brought in Kitab al-Tawheed. Bring me a book like it, then you miskeen. Miskeen. These are the people that they invite to their place. Yusuf Esther who says that the Quran, the Quran that we have, this Musaf, it is not the Quran. You are just reading, this is not the Quran. We don't call it the Quran. Kind of madness, foolishness. And the other one saying that there's no difference. This Yazqadi say promoting Yazqadi and these people only this only this year, 2015, promoting the lectures of Yazqadi and these people, who say that there's no difference between us and the grave worshippers. And I used to be a Salafi when I was young, when I was juvenile, immature. Now I've matured and I've left Salafi. Alhamdulillah. Ukhruj. But it's personal. You think that when we get angry, we get angry for the sake of Allah, that this makes it personal. The Prophet ﷺ never got angry for Allah. He got angry for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his love for the deen of Allah and his love for that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had revealed to him. He never got angry for Allah. Was that personal? When Imam Ahmed refuted Al-Karabisi and Al-Muhasabi and Ya'qub Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Ya'qub bin Shayba now, Jazakallah khair. Personal, Imam Ahmed. Wallahi, it's not personal. It's not personal. When Abdullah ibn Umar refuted the Qadariya for one bid'ah in the pre-decree. Personal. What personal? What have they stole of, stole of my wealth? And what have I stolen of their wealth that has become personal? Nothing, Barakallahu feekum. We've known that organization for 25 years. Find a person who knows them better than us. Right from 25 years, we've known them. Advising them, advising them, advising them. First 15 years was nothing but nasiha. Or first 10 years, to be more exact. Nothing but nasiha. Advising them, sitting with them, calling them, sitting with them, meeting after meeting. B pulling them outside the masjid. Yeah, yeah, I've got to, I have to give you some nasiha. You, what you're doing is haram. This is wrong what you're doing. Announcing on Yom al -Jum ah from the member, oh brothers, there will be three buses leaving Central Mosque for the campaign and marching outside the Houses of Parliament. Whoever brothers and sisters want to go, please be outside Central Mosque by 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. Personal. I heard this with my own ears. With my own ears, barakallahu feekum. And if the likes of Abu Talha, rahimahullahu ta'ala, he used to become angry when he used to hear those people say these things that they're saying. And we all used to become angry, not because we have anything personal, because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
when they have Shia with their big black turbans walking into their masjid. Because some masjid has been destroyed in India and they say that we're going to unite with all of the Muslims so the, so the Shia from Clifton Road walk into Green Lane Mosque. And they do. And then they call this Abdul Wahab Siddiqui and others that come to their masjid in Green Lane Mosque. They, one day they call a Brailwi to do a talk. Next day a Diobandi. And then they, every day this was happening. Muhammad Surur himself used to give the rules in that masjid. Zain al Abidin, this Mubtadi'ah. His magazine, as Sunnah, which Sheikh Al-Albani used to call Al-Bid'ah, used to be distributed in their masjid, the books of Al-Qardawi. Zakir Naik himself came to their masjid to give a lecture. Sunnah, personal, what's personal? What's personal? Wallahi, is not personal. Just like with them, it's not personal. With the Diobandis, it's not personal. With the Ikhwan, it's not personal. With the Brailwis, it's not personal. It's deen. Wallahi, it's deen. Anything else we can overlook, like Imam Ahmed said, anyone who harmed me, I forgive him, except for the innovator. I will not forgive them because they violated the deen of Allah. He said, but anyone who harmed me personal, personally, Imam Ahmed said, I forgive them. And wallahi, I say likewise. Inshallah, to my fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anyone who harmed me personally on a personal issue, I forgive. But if they harmed and they cause harm to us because of our deen, because of our sunnah and our salafiyah, and because of them promoting bid'ah, then we will not forgive them. That is between them and Allah. They violated the right of Allah. Who am I to come in in between and forgive them for a right of Allah that they violated? It is Allah's forgiveness that they need to seek. Not personal. Jazakumullah khairan. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.